Hi Libra, this is going to be a general love reading for mid-February 2021 for your Sun, Moon, Rising and or Venus signs. And it is general, so it's not going to resonate for all of you. And so you can pick out one of your other signs or one of your person's other signs or get a personal reading to get more specific details. Alright, so Libra, what is the major theme for mid-February please? Also keep in mind that the roles can be reversed. All right, we have a Zen garden, inner sanctuary. Oh, okay, so somebody is trying to find some peace. Somebody is trying to almost like make amends with your own self, I feel. Really trying to tap into your intuition here. Let's see, let's see what this is about. It could be you, it could be your person. But I feel like it's a focus um, away from the outer world and redirecting that focus inward. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What is going on in mid-February? So, for you, we have the Ace of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles, and Temperance. Okay, yeah, definitely. I feel like this is you with this in um, the, with the Zen Garden Inner Sanctuary card. Because with the Queen of Pentacles here, I feel like this is you really trying to nurture your own self. You are going within, you are healing, you are trying to find some balance. It, and it could be that this is something new for you, or if it's not new, it's like you feel like you have opened this new door when it comes to really finding yourself and finding like a new, a new sense of self-worth and it could even be that you know you've had self-worth before you've had it in the past uh, maybe you thought you had high self-worth up until now but it's like now you're discovering that no you know all this time I thought I loved myself but I'm not I hadn't really found what that really means until now or you're just finding a new level of that all right so let's see for your person <clears throat> we have the king of swords the Palace of Cups, and the Ten of Cups. Wow. Air signs so far, you're getting really beautiful readings. I feel like things are really falling into place here. Um, there's a person here, whoever this is, who has, who is very um, sure of themselves and of how they feel about you. And how they feel about you is a lot of love. All right, the Palace of Cups and the Ten of Cups, like, what more could you want? And I feel like the great thing about this, and this is kind of reminding me of um, Gemini actually, is that it feels like there's a combination of clarity, having mental clarity, as well as combining this logic with the emotions, like coming both from a rational space as well as from an intuitive space with, and emotions. Let's see what's coming up in the near future. The Two of Cups. Wow, the Wheel of Fortune and the Nine of Wands. And the final message here for you is the Three of Cups. All right, so really, like, the only um, difficult card I'm seeing here for the main energies is this Nine of Wands here, all right, in the near future. However, we do have the Two of Cups, so this is definitely love, coming together in love. And we also have the Three of Cups here for the message, which talks about a reconciliation. I see there being some shifts. Um, so it's all looking great. It's just that it might be there's a little more way to go here with something, all right? The, there is a little bit of... A struggle, maybe somebody is feeling a little bit wounded. But overall, I feel like things are changing and moving in a very loving direction. Alright, so let's see. Libra, let's clarify. Let's see the Ace of Pentacles. King of Cups. 
Yeah, this is exactly what I am talking about and what I was saying. It's like you've opened up this new door of love. All right, and I feel like it's love for yourself, although it could even be for this person. But you are really, you've opened up this door where you are really feeling love in a way that you hadn't felt it before. We have the Page of Swords as well as the Six of Swords. This reading is, is still reminding me of Gemini, by the way. Do let me know if you're dealing with a Gemini or if you have Gemini strongly in your chart or maybe your person does. Um, I feel like you, you are really... There's something that you're moving away from. And I feel like what you're moving away from is not, again, this Page of Swords. You have been curious. You have been investigating your own self. All right, you have been going inward a lot. And you, it's like you're moving away from anything that was just not enough for you. You're moving away from any kind of energy that was just giving you just a little bit that wasn't very, um, for example, determined. Or it wasn't just what would fulfill you. And this could be in regards to another person, but again, it could even be in regards to your own self, like your own, your own types of thoughts. And you're moving towards this really, just really putting yourself first, really nurturing yourself. Like, I can't even stress that enough. And this is bringing you so much balance here with temperance and the Ace of Wands. Yeah, see, another Ace. It's making you feel more creative. I feel like you just have this new inspiration. So maybe you've started doing new things. Maybe you signed up for a course um, that has to do with inner knowledge, for example, self-awareness, or just anything else. And I feel like this is bringing you um, a lot of excitement regardless. All right, even if it's just the way that you go about meditating or taking care of yourself. I do also feel like you might be, because oh, I just had the Three of Wands pop out as I was shuffling. There could be something, though, that you're still waiting for as you do this. Let's, um, let's see if it's your person. King of Swords. Who clarified by the King of Swords? Spirit's like, you don't need to clarify that. It's everything I said. This person becoming um, very clear about something very determined. And I feel like it's about their emotions. Let's see how this cups. The Eight of Pentacles. Okay, so it feels like it's still a work in progress. Um, the determination is there. The clarity is there. The decision making, I feel, is also there concerning their feelings here. But it's something that needs effort. There's still, there's something that needs to be done or that they are working on in order to fully reach that place. Let's see the Ten of Cups. The Queen of Pentacles and the Star. Okay, because we had the Queen of Pentacles show up for you, which is... Which is interesting because it's a very grounded energy for, for Gemini. But I feel like that's pretty much what you're doing. I feel like you're moving away from this, from the overthinking. Did I say Gemini? I meant to say Libra. It's because your reading is reminding me of Gemini. <laughs> but anyway, same thing. You're both air signs. So it's, very, it's a very grounded energy for, for Libra. Um, or any air sign for that matter. But... That's what you're moving away from. You're moving away from the overthinking or overanalyzing certain things or just, you know, being just all over the place and scattered in your, in your mind. And I feel like that energy with a star being here is what is also helping the, your person here to move in that direction of love. Like the more love you have for yourself and the more you keep progressing in that, it's like it's opening that door for this person to do also their work when it comes to really embodying their own emotions here. 
They know how they feel about you. But this is help you being in this Queen of Pentacles energy. It's like it's stimulating them. It's giving them that drive to do their own work. All right, and that's why it's together here with the star. It's like you are inspiring this person. And this just makes you um, even more desirable. And I mean, the, the, the feelings are there regardless of that, all right? The feelings are there, but you being, standing in your power in this way and grounding yourself is what is helping them to achieve their own goals. All right, so clarifying the Two of Cups in the near future. We have Temperance. Okay, beautiful. See, so this love, I mean, this, all of this is bringing this love together in a very balanced way. It's healing, all right? There, were, there are certain things in this connection that need to be healed, and I feel like you, you are doing that. The both of you are, actually. Because the star is also a card of healing, and they have it in their energy. You have Temperance, and now Temperance is showing up again. Um, to clarify this, um, the, the connection, basically, all right, coming up in the near future. Let's see the Wheel of Fortune. The Ten of Swords. So there's a big shift here from moving away from this pain, I feel. It could be that there is an ending, some kind of an ending that needs to take place simultaneously or in order for this healing to happen okay there could be something that needs to be ended here whatever that is that that's happening all right and, and this could be what is um causing this nine of wands energy here as well all right this difficulty um let's see let me clarify this nine of wands and i will get back to the to the ten of swords Yeah, the Three of Swords. Okay, so definitely this healing that is happening within your connection, it's somehow related to some kind of pain. All right, there was some kind of a heartbreak, there was some kind of um, a pain that was caused, which that is what is going to be the challenge, to really overcome that. And I feel like that is happening because we have the Wheel of Fortune with the Ten of Swords. All right, the Wheel of Fortune being the main energy. What is it that is changing? It's this pain, which again, for some of you, it could be an ending, and this could be the challenge that, that, that an ending, not with this person, I really don't feel like it's an ending with this person because we have the reconciliation card here as well. And like I said, there's like so much love here, it's, it's crazy. Um, but there could be some other kind of an ending which is required in order for this healing to take place. Now that ending, whatever it is, is what is going to be difficult, all right, for some of you. For others of you, it's just pain or a betrayal that may have happened in the past. On one side or the other, I, I can't know who, but that is also changing. I feel like things are going to be dealt with in a different way, and this is going to happen more and more the more that you stay in this energy of really taking care of yourself. Let's see the Three of Cups. Alright, we have the Two of Swords in this one more. And the Six of Pentacles. Okay, so there's a reconciliation I feel that's kind of like in the air and that you're moving in that direction. However, Again, there might be certain things that haven't been dealt with. That's what I'm getting with this Two of Swords. Certain things that still need to balance out. So just kind of, just keep that in the back of your mind, all right? That maybe, maybe these things are related to your person, for example. And maybe that's why, um, I don't know, you might not be aware of them or maybe you are. But I feel like certain things that need to be balanced out, which I feel like it might have to do with whatever this, this uh, Three of Swords is here. That might still need a little bit of, of work. 
but it's nothing that you can't manage and I feel like it's nothing your person can't manage it for whenever um, that time comes for this to um, play out. All right, Libra, let's see. Final message for Libra, if this resonated, please give me a thumbs up if it did. Leave me a comment, let me know if, if you're dealing with a Gemini or maybe an Earth sign because I'm getting strong Earth as well. And we have round and round and blessed. Okay, so yeah, first of all, I do feel like this connection is blessed. There is guidance here. And there are certain things that may have been repeating themselves over and over again in the past. I feel like that is what is being broken. That is being broken because you are seeing things in a new way. And I feel like you are the catalyst of, of that and of what is to follow. Okay, so I feel like this is a message for you to just, you know, keep that in your mind, you know, not to go back to previous cycles that you know don't work, okay? Stick with the new that is moving you forward and you will continue to have that support from the divine and, and will be blessed. All right, Libra, those were the messages. Thank you so much for watching. Much love.